Okay, back to our model panel right here. The last one on the bottom of all these things we can do, we've done extrude, loft, revolve, we're now on sweep. Sweep is very much as we did with the extrude along a path, but you got a few options doing it this way. So once again, we're going to be in our top view, and let's just go ahead so you can see it a little better. Let's make just like a rectangle shape. Okay, now we have to have a path to follow, so we have to be in a different plane. So I'm going to switch up the plane and go to the front. What I'm going to do is take, let's take a polyline so we can use the arc command with it. And let's locate the center. Let's bring this up. And let's start it off coming up straight. Okay, we'll take the ortho off. Now let's do the A for arc because it is a polyline. And let's give it a nice big arc here. Let's give it a big arc here. Let's come out here. Okay, so that's going to be our path. If we take a look at it, you see we've got two different areas. The plane has got our, our little rectangle on it, and then we have this path coming up. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to sweep. We're going to choose what we want. Now, if you take a look, it says select your objects. That's what we want. Enter, and now it's going to say alignment, base point, scale, twist. If we just come and pick this, it's just going to extrude it. Okay? It'll follow along that path. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and copy this so you can see the difference of this. Okay? Let's put this one here. Let's put this one here. Just in case. Okay, let's come back to this one much better idea. Sweep. Pick our line, right click, enter, pick where we want it to go. It just took this and made it exactly the same all the way through. All right, this sweep. Select your object, right click, enter, and now it's saying alignment base scale twist. Let's come over here to scale. And let's give the scale Right now it's at 1. Let's give the scale a 0.5, meaning it's going to be half its size when it's done. So with that, we're going to be selecting our path. Okay, see this? It worked out all the math so that this is coming down half the size. So this shape is gone half of this shape. Okay, let's do this sweep. We're going to take this. And this time, we're going to come here and go twist. And let's see, right now we have zeros, so let's give it, let's go five. Let's see what it does. So we should be able to pick this. And do you see how it's starting to take? And it's going to twist it as it goes, so it's quite different. So, sweep is really an interesting command. Uh, lots of things you can do with it. You can try all the options you have with your sweep. Just come in here and, like I said, pick your item, right click, enter, and there's all your options you have. Um, very simple. Specify the base point here. Um, there's our path. It'll take it up. So you have different options. These are really cool. This one here is very helpful when you're going from one spot to another and you know what you need to have it as different. Really interesting to see it work. So practice along with the sweep. Lots of cool things. What can be used on this? Um, think of uh, pipes, motorcycle pipes. Think of um, exhaust pipes on cars. We wouldn't be using squares, but we definitely could use those with circles and how they bend around all the other parts. So very, very functional thing. So that is sweet. Hope you got it.